well, I wouldn't call it a cold start necessarily. It is freezing cold out here, but I did run the truck yesterday. We're on our way to AutoZone. We got to grab a couple of things here. Um, and then we're going to be coming back. This truck also needs a wash because, well, it's nasty. Although it may be in vain because of how bad the weather is. And we have another snowstorm coming tomorrow. I just can't stand seeing them dirty for very long. Even, even if they're gonna get dirty again, you know, it just, it just helps with keeping stuff nice. So we're gonna get this thing washed. We're gonna get a couple parts from AutoZone, not for this truck, but for a different one. And then we are gonna be trading the trailer back there for an item today that I'm going to be showing you guys. It is diesel. What we are trading it for is diesel. So stay tuned and uh, we might be getting a new item today. Let me get this thing going though because it is freezing cold. And this thing's going to need at least a couple of minutes here of runtime. So this thing sure starts up nice in the cold weather. Just imagine this truck in your driveway and not mine, because it could be. Every one dollar is 15 entries to win right now. 15X does end on Sunday though, so take advantage of it while you can. And if you haven't checked the emails from me, I did send you an email. You got a little gift in there for an extra little bonus. You got the fourth gen interior in this bad boy. Starlet headliner, the suede, super nice. Gives you a good little look at it here. Ten dollars and quarters later, we got it clean at least for the day. Well, this is what we traded for. It's a 2006 Kubota Diesel ZD28 zero turn mower. I don't know exactly what my plans are with this thing. It's a little dirty. It's a little dirty, you know. Just needs a little washing. But uh, you can see my other one is in the exact same situation. Ne desperate need of a wash, and uh, it's a. Kubota diesel, zero turn. And again, I really don't know what my plans are with this thing in terms of, am I gonna keep it? Am I gonna end up selling it if I don't end up needing it or using it as much as I think I'm going to? I do have plenty of yard, that's not an issue. I have plenty of grass. I could probably use a mower with this size of a deck, but do I need a diesel mower? I don't know, but I got offered the mower for the 20 foot trailer, which as you can see with this barren patch of gravel, it is now gone and out of here. And I'm like, you know what? Why not? All the other trades I was getting, it was like guns and it was motorcycles and all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, you know, a diesel mower would be probably the, the most useful thing if it was something I ended up keeping. Um, I got plenty of guns. I got plenty of other stuff and I, I don't need a motorcycle. And, you know, I just thought, shoot why not let's go for it thing runs great doesn't leak anything the only thing it needs is a wash and we're gonna do that actually in today's video here we're gonna deep clean this thing because it needs it i wouldn't mind cleaning that one as well getting them looking good and again i'm not really sure if i did sell it i would just have to get the right price for it of course because i just traded it for my trailer which was worth a certain amount and i would have to get at least that certain amount out of it to be worth selling could definitely use it around here as well but in the other sense, I also kind of thought about selling it to put towards a subcompact tractor. And then since this is worth substantially more than that one, sell this one also and just put that money towards getting a new Toro with a Kawasaki motor in it. 
that's just a bigger model than this because this is only a 50 inch deck on that mower uh and this is a 60 i would prefer to have a 60 possibly a 72 but 60 would do us fine it takes us about two and a half hours to mow everything we have with a little 50 inch and honestly i don't even do the mowing i have the mowing i have somebody hired to come over here and do it and they just use my mower you know in the same sense i honestly wouldn't mind just having a brand new unit with some warranty on it and stuff like that because i know that these go for a lot of money and they're worth quite a bit to the right buyers but in the same sense i also assume that if something breaks on one of these it's going to be substantially more money than if something breaks on a more generic mower to come by like a toro not to mention kind of having a brand new one with a warranty on it doesn't sound too bad especially since the used market's like crazy high a new one wouldn't be that much more to be able to upgrade it out so I don't know what all we're going to do with it in that regard, but for now, let me get you guys a little before and after. Okay, this thing is filthy dirty. I mean, it's absolutely covered up in grime and dirt. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to do a full degrease on it. I'm going to clean the whole thing up, show you guys around what it looks like clean. Those of you that know what these go for um it's not a bad trade it's a pretty good deal so we're gonna get this thing washed up and uh see what it looks like see what it looks like without those layers of grime on it i actually got an idea you might think i'm crazy and you know, if it doesn't work, maybe I am crazy, but I'm thinking about making a plow for my Kubota ZD28 front end because we've got, you know, we got a lot of snow right now. We've got about six to six to 10 inches of snow, depending on what part of the property you're standing at. But tomorrow we're supposed to get another six to 10 inches as well. This place is going to be so hard to get through in terms of the driveway. Our car is fairly low. Um, that's not, that's not our car, but the one that's in the garage. Uh, it's fairly low and this place is going to be so hard to get out of. So what I think I'm going to do, this thing has a fully hydraulic deck and uh, it raises and lowers simply with a lever. See, I just dropped it down. So what I think I'm going to do is create a blade for this that can lift and lower and it'll stick out far enough in front of it to where it'll be fine, but then run some kind of hardware and bracket from the back of this board brace it up a little bit make it stronger but then it'll go and sit kind of on top of these wheels here just above it kind of floating and then use these holes to run something through to keep it propped and then make it to where i can literally raise and drop a front blade on this thing and use it to push some snow out of our driveway as need be for this weekend. I don't know how many scraps i have but i'm going to make it completely out of scraps if i can if i can't well, bummer, but if it works, I'm gonna be excited to show you. Stage one, no plow. And now we got the framework. I'm just gonna use this rope, pull it out of the way. We're gonna get to painting it up. And there is the front plow blade all painted up. And I got a little wedging piece right here. So I have to actually tilt this thing up. It sits between that metal bracket. And then once I get it there, I'm gonna have to pound this as a wedging piece in there. And that keeps that completely solid and in place. And then I have two four inch set screws, one that goes in on each side, and then it keeps that blade from going side to side or um, coming loose at all. But just this set wedge basically locks this thing in place tight. So I'm gonna get this thing set in place, get the strap ran. We're gonna do a little test. What do you think of the new unit? I'm telling you, she does work. She works. Might be a little bit, a little bit hojack, but, <laughs> but it gets the job done, yeah. 
Dude, it actually plowed the drive. <laughs> Can you believe that? Look at that. It doesn't look bad at all. Other than there's no way to direct it, I mean, it actually worked. Dude, I was able to push snow from the barn all the way through the mud all the way up here. Look, through all this. I can't even believe it. My other mower gets, like, it gets stuck if there's wet grass. That, that thing's pretty freaking stout. It's pretty off. Now I got to detail the whole thing and clean it, but I figured I might as well do it after I test it out. But, dude, that actually worked. Kubota knows how to make a mower, bro. Dude, that, dude, that, aren't, that ain't your everyday mower. No. That's a ZD28 with a wooden snow plow, bro. Tell me you've seen one of those before. I can't say that I have. Exactly. It's one of a kind. So, I couldn't get the actual work filmed of using this thing. But the principle is simple. You guys get it. I would have gotten filmed. My wife is currently out trying to kill a giant buck and uh ty had to take off and he was in a hurry but it did work i mean i don't know if i can do any justice of how deep the snow was it's been melting a little bit today but here's a good example of a spot i mean it's probably probably most of it's probably six inches of snow and it did the job i mean there's a couple of pretty big piles down there and uh it actually did it i am I'm very impressed. Now the next stage in this process is going to be cleaning it. I figured I would do the plow test before cleaning it because it's gonna get dirty, but let's get this thing degreased, washed, and try to see just how nice this thing can look. So here's a little before. So here it is, not perfectly clean. I didn't get the pressure washer out because I am gonna use it again tomorrow, but I did wanna see what the paint actually looked like with the grease all wiped off. And uh, things are actually pretty clean once you get all the stuff wiped off it. It's got its bumps and bruises, but you know, it's a 2006, so you gotta expect it. If I get the pressure washer out, most of these little cracks and crevices that are just kinda hard to get to, I can get those done quick. Not bad though. So I'm actually gonna see if I can move a couple things around in the garage, that way I can back it into the garage. So that way tomorrow when we have all the snow here, I can actually test this thing with a fresh layer of powder and see how it does. So I am, however, gonna actually use this to push some snow off the driveway tomorrow. Kind of an unusual video, but I did get the mower because I traded off the trailer. And to be honest, I just didn't use it. And although I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this long-term or if I'm gonna end up selling it, and still replacing it with a small subcompact tractor. That would make a lot more sense for what I'm using it for today. That's the main goal at some point is to have one of those added to the fleet. But I do also need a bigger mower in general because our other one is only a 50 inch deck and it's just a little bit underpowered for how much lawn we have. So it's a debate between do I sell this one and the other one and get a 60 inch, but get a gas one and just stick with Toro, you know, something that's, you know, parts are easy to get easy to maintain it's brand new it has warranty all that other stuff or do i keep this sell the mower and then you know replace that piece of equipment with a small subcompact tractor so i don't know there's different options we're trying to think through what makes the most sense i just don't like having stuff sitting around that i don't use and if i don't use it i'd rather sell it and replace it with something i am going to use all that being said guys the main event here is the 59 third gen here behind me you can enter to win this truck right now and every one dollar is going to get you 15 entries to win and this thing is a beauty and it could be yours could be in your driveway and it comes with five thousand dollars in cash so take advantage of it while you can guys every one dollar is 15 entries to win this thing at lnpgear.com or on our lnp gear app which is always available links are in the description or on the website anyways guys i'll catch you in the next video peace